Hi guys, this is Pibu Lucas and welcome to my channel. Today what I'm going to show you is how to switch between language without restarting the app. I already created two view controllers with a couple of labels and buttons in it. I also created string files for English and French language. You can create this kind of file by right clicking on the project, selecting new file, and navigate to strings file. Hit next and enter the file name. Now going back to our main storyboard, we have this label which will hold our message, a button that will show the next view controller, and another button that will change the language. And in our next view controller, we have another message, a button that will go back to the previous screen, and another button that will also show our change language function. Okay, let's try to run the app. So running the app will show the first screen, which is this label and two buttons and hitting on this first button will show you the second screen we haven't yet have any function for changing the language and hitting on the first button will navigate back to the previous one next is uh, we're going to create a string extension so let's go back to our project right click on it select new file select sweep file Hit next and we will give it a name extension. Let us now create our string extension by typing in extension string and declare a function localized language which will return an optional string. Next is we're going to declare a variable that will hold our default language. Default language. So our default language will be English. And we're going to use the user default to persist and retrieve the default language. So we type in if let selected language is equal to user default st standard and string. So we will uh, give it a key, for example, language key. And then if there is such a key exists that means we have previously selected a language so we will make that as the default language and then now we will return the localized string by typing in localized string let's remove that and select cell table name which is the default language and the comment which is empty So now we have just created our extension. So after creating the extension, we will test if our extension is working. So we will do, for example, the English language, select the hello message, and then we're going to print, print, 
hello message and call localized language. Let us run the app again and see the debug area if it's working. So as you can see, our extension is working. If you want to test the French language, we just need to set the value of our key Okay. set value let's go back to our extension and then just declare this outside let language key equal to language key then we're going to change this part of the code to language key okay so language key so this will be French for the key of language key now let's try and run the, the app again to see if it's working so you can see our function works let's go back to our main storyboard so in our main storyboard you can see that we, we have three views a label and two buttons in some of the two tutorial that I saw, this number of views equates to the number of outlets being declared inside the view controller. But in our case, we will not be using outlets. We will be creating custom views to handle switching between language. In our project, we will create a new file for our custom view. So select Swift file and we will give it a custom view then we will import UI kit and create a class named custom label which has a parent class of UI label we will also use IB designable so that it will appear in the interface builder next is we're going to create a property variable named localized language which have a string type and we will use at IB inspectable this two is very important this attribute is being used by Xcode to directly render the elements inside interface builder we will use the set to capture changes to the property and update the UI so in our case we will create a function just down below update UI and we're going to check the value if it's not nil so let's type in it let string equal to localized language then text is equal to string that localized language And we will call our function here update UI so now our custom label is set we need to test it we will then go to our string file copy the hello message string key go to the main storyboard 
and select one of our label. And then we're going to change the class to custom label. And as you can see, we have a property localized language. We will now set the default value to hello message. Now we will check if our custom label is working. So we just need to run the app. And try to see if it will reflect the one in the string file. So currently, you see that our custom label is working. We will do the same for our buttons.